YouTube, what's up, what's happening? Here I am bringing you another video and we're going for the, the angles today, the wide angle shot. And uh, we got some RC bodies here. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and walk you guys through the process today of how to turn these RC bodies into something, you know, kind of special, kind of awesome, um, as well as all the whole process that you need to do it. So even if you're gonna do a different design, you know, this will help you uh, go through the whole steps so you know what to do. So obviously we're first gonna open these up and then we're gonna wash them out. So I like to take a little bit of soap and a microfiber cloth and clean out the whole inside. I don't care so much about the outside because it has a protective lining on it, but all the inside, I just wanna make sure there's no oils or no anything on there. Just get a nice clean surface. I'm just gonna use a little bit of dish soap with some warm water and a microfiber cloth um, to clean the whole inside. And then I'm gonna bring these right back under these workbench and uh, we'll get started. All right, so I went ahead, cleaned them all up and uh, we got them on nice and clean. As you can see, I'm wearing some gloves now. And the reason you want to wear gloves is because you're going to have to be handling it from the inside, right? Or you could try to just try to avoid to handle it as much as you can, but it's going to be hard to avoid once we need to actually place stuff inside. And a fingerprint um, could really ruin your day when it comes to these bodies. Uh, you'll be spraying and then all of a sudden you'll get a lot of uh, splitting in the paint or something like that. And that'll be because, you know, you left a little bit of oil behind or your fingerprint. Sometimes you could clearly see that it's a fingerprint. Um, so you, I try to wear gloves to avoid that as much as possible. <clears throat> but anyway, we're going to take our blade here and our over our window masks for our RC bodies, they usually come with pre-cut window masks. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on. Um, you know, so this is be the first step of us getting these ready. All right, so we got those window masks on. Uh, pretty simple, I'm just skipping over the, the you know, pretty basic parts. Uh, so putting on the window masks, I mean, you, that's, Pretty self-explanatory, you don't need to see me do that. Um, but it, next, we're gonna be taking our design. So this customer has provided me with a design that they kind of like and a few colors. So I like taking a Sharpie and we're gonna go ahead and draw it on here um, on the outside of the body. Um, the body does come with a protective film already on it so you don't have to worry about uh, coloring on this or anything like that make sure you leave that on until the very end um that when you t uh, remove that protective film the body will be completely shiny and and look like a brand new rc body so you want to leave that on but we are going to take a sharpie marker and we're going to draw our design on here um, and that'll give us a good idea of when we tape the inside of where we need to cut and where we need to, um, you know, cut our tape and our masking film to really give us the design that we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw on this and uh, I'll come back again. So once we got our designs on there, I'm just going to go ahead and take some masking tape. And I like to use the thick stuff because it just makes it easier. And we're going to go ahead and mask off um, this area. So we're going to do a three color design. So we're going to do uh, 
some uh, raspberry up in the front, some silver and black here in the middle, and then we're gonna do fluorescent yellow here in the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my thick tape and I'm gonna cover up the middle area. And the reason I'll do that is because then we'll have these two, these front and back areas exposed to be able to do that. And as well, our darkest color goes in here. So we might wanna do that last so that we don't get no dark overspray over the rest of the body. So again, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip over the taping of it. Um, I'm gonna come back and show you, um, you know, how I cut it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and tape those areas off. So pretty simple. All right, guys, so as you can see, I've kind of just crudely taped it up, making sure that the tape goes over all past all the lines here. So now all I'm going to do here is take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to go ahead and just run the blade lightly over these uh, lines here. Um, <clears throat> to, you know, depending on your design, you're going to run them differently or whatever. Uh, but, you know, I'm just going to run them over my design here. And uh, it's better to just go lightly um, twice as opposed to trying to press down really hard and risk, you know, either puncturing or leaving a really deep uh, scar. It's better to just run the blade lightly over it. And if, you know, the tape does not cut very well, um, you know, you might consider replacing your blade or just running over it again lightly again twice uh, instead of trying to like uh, jam the blade in there or trying to rough it out. So. Again, just take your time with it, cut it out, and then we'll we'll come back once we have the design all nice and cut. All right, so I've gone ahead and cut all that out. And if you notice, I'm not wearing gloves anymore. I'm just being careful not to touch the inside. At this point, there's no reason for me to touch the inside at all. So it's completely okay, just be careful not to touch the inside. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some masking paper and some masking tape. Um, I'll probably take a thinner roll like this. And uh, we're just going to cover up one side of the body. So at this point, I'll probably work on the front side of these bodies. So I'm going to go ahead and mask off the back side completely using my masking paper and tape. All right, guys, so we got our design all taped up. Um, and from here, I, uh, it's very common to lay effects, right? So we don't want to just color it in. So we're going to kind of lay some effects into here. So I'm going to use, again, Createx paint. If you want, like, um, I have had no troubles using this paint um, right up front, just straight out of the bottle, uh, maybe hitting it with a blow dryer, then covering it with clear. Um, on here, if you want to use 4030 Balancing Clear, it helps promote the adhesion. Now, again, like I said, I, from personal experience, from painting lots of customers' bodies, watching them get thrashed, um, Createx holds up to the body bending and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Like, beyond what I thought these bodies um, could, you know, could last. Honestly, these bodies are pretty impressive, but the paint itself holds up. Um, you know, so I'm going to use Createx paints. I know there's lots of Odyssey body paints and stuff, uh, but Createx works pretty good. Um, so anyway, I'm going to take raspberry and go around the edge here of my design. Uh, you know, just hit the edge with a soft, um, kind of like a fade. And then I come and come back in with the white and lay some stripe, like some streaks, uh, kind of to make it, give it like a fast appearance, you know. And then I'm going to come back in with the raspberry and go over um, over those white streaks and stuff to kind of fill in the front with that raspberry color So that's that's what I'm gonna be doing and that's what we're going for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started
right guys so we got that all covered in with the raspberry and because these paints are kind of transparent the least the raspberry is uh, we're gonna just take some opaque white and we're gonna just lay a fine fine little skim coat over the um, the raspberry color here um, it won't really take much just a little skim coat will really stop any other color from bleeding through so we're just gonna go ahead and lay a light coat of white So there you go, we have that nice coat of white. We're gonna let that dry for a second, but we're gonna go ahead and remove our masking paper to unveil the back part of the body, and we can get ready to paint the back part of the body now. All right guys, so now we have the back part exposed, right? This is what it looks like on the inside. Um, so now I'm going to go over the edge again really lightly uh, with white then I'm going to lay some black streaks um, Again, just to go kind of with the front. I'm going to make them, you know, just a little bit more separated and uh, Kind of going across the back and then I'm going to lay uh, fluorescent yellow um, So we're gonna lay some fluorescent yellow over the whole back side here um, Yeah, that's kind of the next step that I'm gonna just gonna be taking so guys so I've gone ahead and uh, you know sprayed the fluorescent yellow we put a little white skim coat over it just to cover it so make sure we get that nice bright yellow to stick out so here's a pro tip you know if you want to add like pinstripes right so we're gonna do some pinstripes around this pink and this yellow and we're gonna do a pink I mean a yellow pinstripe on the pink and a pink pinstripe right here on this white yellow over here so what we're going to do is instead of just peeling off this whole thing is we're actually going to come in with the blade and just cut in along that edge following, you know, maybe a, a few millimeters of space. Um, and we're just going to cut that in and then take those out. Um, maybe, you know, cut off one side and then do the yellow and then cut off the other side and do the pink. Um, and that's a really quick and easy way to add those pinstripes. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do next. Alright guys, so we got our nice pinstripes in there now. So now I'm just going to go ahead and remove the, what's left of the masking tape and we're going to go ahead and do our last and final design uh, before we lay our last uh, gloss coat over everything. Alright, so now having that masking off, right, we have our last area exposed. So what I'm going to do is hit the edge again with just the opaque black, again a light fade on the edge. And then I'm going to use a little bit of... Uh, pearl white here and my uh, spiderweb stencil we're gonna lay the spiderweb stencil and just give it a cute a few quick uh, hits with the pearl white uh, to give us the impression of the spider stencil left behind and that way when we lay the black over the pearl white we'll get a nice uh, shimmer effect of the spiderweb when we you know when it's all said and done so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do next
And there you go, guys. After you've done the black, uh, I like to go back and just mist uh, some black and some white and just a couple layers of black and white opaque uh, just to really lock everything in and seal everything in. Um, and then, as you can see now, our design, uh, you can see it shimmering there with the light. And that's just uh, the pearl effect. And that's kind of what we're going for. Um, you know, you can see it kind of appears and disappears. We just did it really lightly, and that's kind of hidden in between the designs. Uh, these red lines, like I said, they're just on that protective coating, and we'll be taking that off at the very end and giving a good look at the body and seeing what it looks like. But from here, I'm just going to let this dry up really good, and I'm going to remove the window masks once it has dried, and we're going to go ahead and lay some uh, clear coat over it, and it'll be nice and done. So before we take it outside and throw some clear on it, I'm just going to go ahead and hit this all with the blow dryer before I take those uh, window masks off. I'm going to hit everything with the blow dryer really, really good. Make sure I get everything nice and hot and then just let it sit here, cool off for a while. And then I'm going to take it outside and, uh, you know, spray some clear coat. I'll probably just show you guys the clear coat in here and then uh, I'll go outside and spray it so that way, you know, we don't have to deal with that whole mess on camera. All right, guys. So I've gone unpeeled the windows got to see our body is all nice and I'm just gonna go take it outside I like using rust-oleum crystal clear enamel um, I just do one good coat let it dry up and it's pretty much good to go after that so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out I know there's tons of different top coats you could use whichever one you like if you have a uh, different experience with different ones maybe drop a comment let us know what you like to use I've had pretty good results with this across a lot of stuff, you know, people talk smack about it, but for the most part, it sticks to stuff. It lasts, you know, it lasts as long as you need it to. And uh, yeah, it's pretty resistant to the weather and everything. So anyway, that's what I'm going to use for the bodies. And yeah, I'll be back to show you guys the final result. All right. So we got it all cleared. You can see it's, it's nice and shiny now. It's nice and dry. I've given it some time to dry here. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and peel off that mask and take one final look. So there you go, guys. That looks really good. And there's not much more I could say besides... Happy painting. Good luck to you guys on your RC build. If you're looking to paint your own RC or if you're just looking to experiment with some Lexan bodies. You know, best of luck to you. Hope this video helps you out. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Later.